we'll be seeing that we have our data here to change. Now, the most common injector upgrade they're going to be finding with an 8th or 9th gen Civic SI is going to be the RDX injectors. Those are going to be uh, relatively plug and play. They're going to provide great atomization, a little bit more fuel, and it'll help you if you do all the bolt-on mods, even cams. Um, they're going to help with, with uh, having additional fuel for that. So in order to set this up right to get our dead time latency values and our scaler, we're going to be jumping into a RDX specific calibration file. So I actually have a second Flash Pro Manager uh, open right now. I'm going to go into new calibration. I'm actually going to go into my RDX. I'm going to select this from my list here. I'm going to select the RDX. It doesn't matter which one we set here. We just don't want to choose one here. It has a DW600 CC injectors. We don't want to choose this particular calibration file because we want it for stock injectors. So I'm going to go up to the stock equivalent, click OK, and then I'm going to jump into calibration. And then I'm going to be going here to fuel. And then I'm going to be specifically looking at my injector size and then my latency data. So I'm going to go and copy and paste this for 10 CC. I'll just jump into this file. I'll paste it. And my dead times are going to be the most important thing we need to nail down here. So I'm going to jump into my dead times here. I'm going to uh, highlight across here, copy this, and move into my calibration file. I'm going to go and paste it and move back into the actual file, go into the latency value, copy it, jump into my table, paste it. You see there are different values. That's very important. The next thing I do is go ahead and save this. I'm just going to click Save As. I'll just save this in whatever the folder, my directory, wherever I want to save this. I'll just save it into this folder for right now. And uh, I'm going to call this NA base map. I'm going to save that as that. So if we have not changed the injectors, we do not update any injector size. That's not going to be something we have to deal with. Now, the next thing that we have to decide is whether we're going to be tuning this on a mass airflow sensor or on speed density. Now, I don't use the mass airflow sensors. I don't recommend that you tune with the mass airflow sensor, although you could. I find that the, the engines run better in speed density mode. So I'm going to go ahead at this point in time and convert this calibration file from a mass airflow file to a speed density style file. So in order to do that, I'm going to unclick this AFM enabled. I'm going to click use speed density tables, map fuel tables. I'm going to leave my minimum pressure for speed density at zero KPA. So that's going to be as soon as I turn the key 